Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to day six of our Inktober Dark Tales Stories and Urban Legends journey. Oh, I can't believe we made it to day six. I'm feeling so inspired and I keep thinking of ideas and different ways to approach things. And today's piece is completely different than what I've been doing. And it's inspired by James Burke. And I will leave his YouTube channel link in the video description below. I came across his 2017 Inktober playlist. And he's doing these amazing swatch dolls in this very simple but really great style. And I really wanted to give it a try. So today's dark story is that of Sleepy Hollow. And I, I decided to take a different approach to this instead of doing the um, typical headless horseman that a lot of people like to do. Um, and I thought I would draw Ichabod Crane. Unfortunately, because this video is so short, I don't have time to read the story to you, but it's a great story. And um, I remember watching the cartoon version of it as a kid, and I was so thrilled when Tim Burton decided to remake this movie with Johnny Depp and uh, Christina Ricci. And I absolutely love it. I'm sad that it's not on Netflix right now, but it's one of my favorite movies to watch in October and I thought that I absolutely had to include the story in our little Inktober journey and I really wanted to do a Sleepy Hollow piece. So naturally I wanted to do um, Ichabod Crane and I just I love the scene in the movie um, the Tim Burton movie where he's got like all these crazy contraptions and he like puts them on and does all these different things with the lenses and he's got his little fancy forensic scientist bag and stuff like that. So I wanted to um, kind of have this piece be a little bit inspired by Johnny Depp's character in the Tim Burton movie. So um, that's what this is based on. I did use a couple uh, images from the movie for inspiration, but obviously this is not a realism piece, so it's completely intuitive which I was really happy with the result of. I was very surprised as to how this came out. I really, really like this piece. If you haven't seen the Tim version, uh, the Tim Burton version of this movie, I highly recommend you check it out. It's so unique and so cool from like the cartoon version. Uh, like I think it was Disney that made it like a little cartoon version that they would always play around Halloween. It would be on the, the Disney Channel maybe and then they had all the Mickey Mouses like the the old school Mickey Mouses with like the Halloween episode and the Grim Reaper and all that and that was kind of like incorporated in it and I loved watching it as a kid but as an adult the Tim Burton movie oh my god I absolutely love it. I don't know what it is but the plot is so good and the um just the whole mood of the movie, I think I'm trying to say here. Um, like, it's all just so gray and creepy and like, you know what I mean? Like, there's not a lot of sunlight and it just, it has that creepy tone throughout the whole movie and I absolutely love how Tim Burton does that. I also want to thank you guys so much for sharing your artwork with me. Um, some of you are messaging me on the Kelly Paints page on Facebook and that's totally fine. If you don't have an Instagram, go ahead and message me there and um, maybe that's something we can do th through the live stream is like look at some of you guys' work as well. Um, I think that would be really fun. Also, um, I keep kind of changing my mind on the, the legends and the stories and stuff that I want to do. So if you guys have an urban legend, a dark story, or a dark fairy tale that you want me to do that's public domain, um, leave them in the comments below and I would love to check them out and I, I do want to make a lot of stuff that you guys want to see and stories you want to hear. So I'm really looking forward to what you guys suggest. This challenge has been so fun for me so far. I absolutely love Halloween and dark stories and just stuff like that. So I am having a blast coming up with ideas. And I cannot wait to see what you guys suggest for me in the comments. Um, speaking of comments, the word of the day is pinned in the comments section. 
If you guys made it to day six, congratulations. It's such an accomplishment. It's so hard to do this challenge. So you guys are like rocking on. Um, make sure you like this video if you liked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you guys get notified of all the new uploads. And I did get a question in the comments. Um, I want you guys to know that at any point you can go back to any video and comment the word of the day on that video. There's no time limit. We're not drawing the winners until November 3rd during the live stream. So you guys have tons of opportunities to enter before then. Make sure you guys pop over to Courtney's channel and check out her video for today. The Inktober Collaboration playlist is on your screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.